Today I'm going to teach you how to make a basic wire loop. The materials needed would be beads of your choice as well as the proper wire gauge. Today I'm going to be using 8mm pearls with a 24 gauge wire. The tools needed for this project would be the flesh cutters to cut the wire itself, chain nose pliers to hold the wire, bent nose pliers to hold the wire at a better position, and round nose pliers to make the loop itself. First of all, you're going to want to start out by cutting off a 4 inch piece of wire. Doesn't need to be exact. You're going to use your flesh cutters to cut the wire. Once you've cut the wire, you're going to want to hold the end of it with your chain nose pliers and then straighten it out. Just run your fingers through it and it doesn't need to be perfect. After that, you're going to want to take your chain nose pliers and put them about an inch and a half down from the top. Then bend the wire away from you. Now that you have a 90 degree angle, you're going to want to pick up your round nose pliers and put them at the base of the angle. So depending on what size loop you want, you'd want to put it towards the bottom to make a tiny loop and towards the top to make a larger loop. I'm going to put mine towards the middle. After that, you're going to want to take the piece that's sticking away from you and pull it towards you. And line it up with the wire below. Once it won't go any further, you're going to want to reposition your round nose pliers so they're facing upward. And then take the excess end and pull it away from you. And now you have your loop. Once you have your loop, you're going to want to have it at an L-shaped position like this. And then take your bent nose pliers so you can hold it at a position that's more convenient. After that, you're going to want to take your round nose pliers, hold the tip of the wire, and put it away from you. If you need to reposition, you can do that. Then you're going to want to pick up the wire again and pull it, making sure that the wires are lining up next to each other and close. And then pick it up again and pull it till you have about three loops. And now you have your loop. This loop is a little bit bent, so what you're going to want to do is take your round nose pliers and just reposition it so that it's facing upward. Now that you have a loop, you're going to want to cut off the excess. So take your flesh cutters, cut it right at the edge of it, and if you have to, cut it again. And now, so you don't have the wire poking anyone, you're going to want to flatten it out with your chain nose. Just press it up against the wire. And if it's still poking out, you can use a regular nail file and file the wire down itself until it's smooth. Now you know how to do your wire loop.